In the heart of Judea, Ariel, a messianic Jew, sat in her living room, the glow of the television casting long shadows. The world held its breath as the head of the newly federated United States of Europe, Marcus Valerius, prepared for a monumental press conference at the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. Marcus Valerius, once hailed as a peacemaker, had brokered a seven-year peace agreement between the Israelis and Palestinians. EU military forces, cold and imposing, were stationed throughout Israel, and the newly created Palestine, ensuring Israel's security, while enabling a viable Palestinian state. His widely anticipated press conference was expected to announce the long-awaited mid-term review of the peace and security agreement. Yet, beneath the veneer of peace, a chilling undercurrent ran deep. The TV flickered, showing Valerius walking into the rebuilt temple, flanked by a sinister entourage. He stood tall, a disturbing smile spreading across his face. Smiling with unprecedented arrogance, he began to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, today marks a pivotal moment in our quest for peace. For too long, the settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem have stood in violation of international law. The time has come to rectify this. The world watched, captivated and unaware of the impending dread. Ariel's heart raced as Valerius continued. Valerius paused and made his way to the Ark of the Covenant in the center of the temple. He sat down on it, raising his arms dramatically. He shouted, saying, Today I bring not just a message of peace, but of divinity. I am not merely a leader. I am your God. Worship me, and I shall bring you salvation. The moment Valerius proclaimed himself God, every phone and screen across the globe lit up with an AI representation of him, its digital eyes cold and all-seeing. The AI program, with facial recognition and emotional sentiment detection software, could detect anyone who refused to worship his image. Amidst the pandemonium, an Orthodox Jew, his face etched with fear and determination, stealthily approached Valerius at the temple and assassinated him. Gunshots rang out, and Valerius collapsed. The crowd gasped and screamed. But to the utmost astonishment of all, Valerius resurrected 15 minutes later, his body twisting unnaturally through demonic power. The air grew thick with a malevolent energy as Valerius's body convulsed and contorted, bones cracking, flesh writhing. His eyes snapped open, glowing with wicked glee. With an unnatural echoing voice, he bellowed, Death cannot hold me. I am eternal. Worship me or face the consequences. The world, now gripped by terror and awe, began to worship him. Screens everywhere displayed his sinister smile as the AI program monitored every soul searching for dissenters. Ariel's home and phone were hijacked by the malevolent program. The words of Jesus echoed in her mind, urging those in Judea to flee to the mountains. As fighter jets roared in the distance, she knew she had to escape, leaving everything behind. With her heart pounding in her chest, she fled the oncoming assault that would obliterate her home and the home of every other Jewish settler. Her journey was a harrowing blend of faith and fear, each step echoing the urgency of her survival. She ran with only the clothes on her back, glancing back with terror as she sprinted towards the mountains. The landscape around her seemed to close in, shadows dancing with unseen threats. At last, Ariel reached a safe haven in the mountains of Judea. There, friends of Israel, wary and watchful, had prepared for such a time, ready to airlift her and numerous other Jews to safety. Yet the shadow of Valerius's approaching army loomed large. The horizon was lined with the ominous silhouettes of tanks and soldiers, a dark tide rolling forward. In these times of trial, Ariel's faith was her guiding light. As she awaited rescue, she knew that the words of Jesus would illuminate her path no matter what lies ahead. Stay vigilant. Stay faithful. In the face of tribulation, faith and courage are our strongest allies. Hold fast for the darkness is greatest just before dawn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories of faith and resilience.